assalamu alaikum and welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will gonna discuss a very important topic of ETAPS 2021 which is about the use of local access and global access and what are these access so before starting my video i would request you to subscribe my channel and like this video and share it for further updates so i have just opened a new file in ETABS and after opening the new files i will uh, simply go with the default settings and will press ok and here i will also go with the default setting because uh, i just want to define what are these axes in the next video we will gonna learn what uh, the use of these axes with a practical example but in this video we will just gonna learn that what are these axes so first of all i will simply change my view to x and the i am seeing it from the top view i will change it to front elevation and simply press ok now you see if you click on this 3d view and you see our x is here which is x axis in this direction y axis in this direction and z direction in the vertical upward direction this is a grid line system ok so this axis is our goal global axis now what is global axis global axis is the axis which is same for all the components of our building it will be same for this column it will be same for this column it will be same for this column it will be same for this direction whatever its uh, orientation is its axis will be this its global axis will be this now if i talk about the local axis then uh, first of all i go to set display options and click on this checkbox and here i go to object assignments and here you see three options joint assignments shell assignments and frame assignments uh, i will uh, just be uh, showing you the local axis of frame so i will click on local axis and click on apply to all windows and apply it and press ok now i have checked this and pressed ok now what will happen uh, i will be simply drawing since i have uh, turned on the local axis for the frames so i will uh, be drawing a frame in the e tabs by using this draw option sorry i it's so here it is now i will simply draw a frame in e tabs using this draw option draw beam or column so what now what will happen now uh, uh, maybe you have a straight structure which will be maybe if you have a structure like with uh, it is uh, like a rectangle, uh, rectangular shape or square shape meaning to say that it has uh, all its components in exactly the vertical direction at 90 degree angle but what happened you have if you have a structure like this and like this like this like this so it's uh, basically i have assumed a frame structure it is not mandated that it will be like this but i have just assumed a structure you will be uh, seeing very much structures like these like inclined structures uh, while the analysis of a complete building so now if you see that uh, when i have turned on the local axis for the frames i have the axis for this for this frame uh, for this and for this now these axes are called the local axis now if i click on 3d view and if you see we have three axes basically one two and three these are called the local axis now local axes are the axes which are the individual axis of each component of a structure meaning to say that if 10 columns are present in the structure all the 10 columns will have different axes which are called their local axis all the slabs all the beams and all the other structures all the other components of the structures will have their own axis now what is their use basically what is the use and what is the difference between this global axis and local axis 
in the lo global axis we have x y and z in the local axis we have local axis 1 local axis 2 local axis 3 now what are, what is axis is local axis 1 what axis is local axis 2 what axis is local axis 3 now in e tabs it is built in that red will be local axis 1 green will be local axis 2 and blue will be local axis 3 they, it is their default name now uh, here is a trick that you can remember them easily uh, you uh, you may know a uh, color mode rgb in graphic designing so you can remember from this uh, r for red g for green b for blue r c b r is on first b is g is on second and b is on third so one two three okay so this is the name of our local axis now for example uh, i have an inclined load for example i just click click on this frame and it is applying inclined to its at this axis but if you have don't do not have the local axis then what you have to do is to split this inclined load into its vertical and horizontal components and then make the analysis but if you have your local axis turned on and you apply load according to the local axis you can analyze the structure by applying directly inclined load and you do not have to split up into vertical and horizontal components uh, of any load so in this way much of your time can be saved so for opening uh, for assigning a load i will select this structure and go to frame loads and i will assign a frame load so uh, i will simply go here first of all you check the direction of load assignment so this is the green arrow what is r g g means local axis 2 so i want to assign the load in the local axis 2 direction at what distance i say 10 feet and the load is 50 kN so it is more outward so i will i want to apply load in other direction i will simply apply click on apply minus 50 kN and here you see i have applied the load in this direction on this flame and on this flame so i have selected these two frames and you can see that the, my load is applied exactly at this direction now i can make directly the analysis of this texture without splitting its it is into components like uh, horizontal component and vertical component so in this way our work is very much lesser because we don't have to split it into rectangular components so this was the use of local axis in the next video i will be solving an example of a frame in which you will see the practical use of this local axis so i hope you might uh, you have a uh, good understanding of this uh, global axis and local axis if you have any queries you can comment me below i will try to answer your queries as soon as possible.